We have new developments tonight after a teenager was stabbed to death. A 15-year-old boy has been charged with killing another teen on a subway platform yesterday. July 9th, 2022, 11 a.m. Started out as a normal day. It was going good until he left the house. Before I continue the story, something I gotta add. Naughty is from New York, and you know them New York niggas love getting on subways. So, him and the bros had somewhere to be, and they hit the subway. But before they got there, Naughty brother left to go do something, which is gonna be important later in the story. 3 p.m., they went down to the three-track 137th Street College Station, and they was down there waiting to get on the sub until one of Naughty man seen something. They seen a nigga Naughty had beef with and Naughty wasn't playing. He was on go. He ran up on dude, threw his ass on the tracks and they got to him. Naughty was beating bro and as they was in the middle of fighting, the nigga started panicking. Think about it. He had Naughty beating him. Then he had even more niggas surrounding him. But one thing Naughty ain't realized was the nigga had a knife on him. So in the middle of him fighting, he stabbed Naughty in the abdomen. And he said that Naughty man's ran away, but I don't know for sure. But what the dude who stabbed Naughty ain't know, the stab was fatal. By the time 12 got there, it was too late, but he was rushed to the the hospital anyway and died when he got there. He was stabbed just a few blocks away from where he grew up. And shortly after his passing, they had a candlelight vision for him. They even opened up a website for Naughty where they were selling Naughty World merch, which pretty much sold out of everything right now. And it's a sad situation though. Two kids got their lives ruined. Naughty died, and the boy who killed him gonna have to live with the consequences of that forever. And if you're wondering, then release the killer info because the nigga are mine. And it's crazy because Naughty left behind a lot of people, including his brother, who also had some restlessness, Didi Osama. And what Didi Osama said about Naughty dying. It was really sad. I call it just what I'm smart. Sad, I'm like, bro, shit. Still thinking, like, what if I stay? Like, if I was really, if I just stay in the Mouton, he'll really be here today. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've seen everybody just trying to like insinuate, oh, you left him and never, nigga, yeah. never ran on, bro. What a, what yeah. to his name? Never ran on him. What to his name? I never ran on him. He wasn't even there. Dirt. Wasn't even there. Wasn't even there in the scene. If I was there in the scene, you'd be here today. But the story don't stop there. After his death, something else started. Naughty, naughty bopping, punching my head. Probably one of the most viral TikTok trends right now. It don't matter who you is, you can know nothing about no drill music, and you done heard this. If you don't get the dance, it's basically you recreating how Naughty died, get stabbing yourself. Drill really disrespectful, bro. This gotta be the craziest genre of hip hop. But putting that to the side, let me explain to you why the song got made in the first place. Kyle Rich. The man who made the Naughty Bop song and dance is a part of a New York crew named 41, which Naughty had problems with. Then this nigga Naughty even dropped the diss song on these niggas named 41K. So in the months leading up to Naughty's death, Naughty and his brother, Didi Osama was going back and forth with these 41 niggas. And what I'm about to say next ain't 100% true. It's just what some people were saying online. Niggas was trying to say Kyle Wrench sent a nigga to stab up Naughty. But that's just speculation. There ain't no proof. It ain't no facts. Take that shit with a grain of salt. But when Naughty died, them niggas took the opportunity to make the diss Naughty Bop. Just being a drill rapper is really like taking a risk because it seemed like the second you step into the scene niggas is gonna beef with you even if you didn't do nothing it's just like the second you enter that drill space niggas just hate you as dangerous as i think drill may be it ain't as dangerous as the rapper from my last video went insane